and welcome all. How are you all? Dougie D, how you doing buddy? I know you won't be staying for long. Thank you for popping in. I know you've got a family dinner to go to, as you said in the comments there. Wayne Bridgnell, thank you for popping by. Hope you guys are all well. Dougie, before you go, I'm going to do try and get it right again. Hopefully I've got it right. <laughs> Matt Bryce in the house. How are you doing, buddy? Happy Saturday to you. Phil Jones, how are you doing, buddy? Thank you for the like. Phil Jones, our good friend from Lifestyle Vapes. Head over to the Facebook group, Lifestyle Vapes, for all your vaping needs. Jessica Michaels in the house, how are you doing? Guys, you guys are definitely ready for some racing. We left it on a cliffhanger on Thursday. And we have come back to finish this series. Hopefully we can get up on the podium. Jay Hartfield in the house, how are you doing buddy? Guys, our good friend Jay Hartfield from Customized Inks in the house. Don't forget to head over to the website. I've got to put the uh, bot on, the Knox bot, or shall I call it the mouse bot. Trust me to forget the Knox bot. I normally get it centered, there we go, he should be running up and, f running up and fine now. So guys, if you head over to the three links that have just popped up there, customized inks, the top link is Jay's personal inbox. The second is the Facebook page and the third is the website. If you go and message Jay with your order and give him the code mouse 10 you will get 10% off your order. Please head over there and get your awesome orders in. I need to. I need to speak to Jay anyway, so I'm going to get some uh, black T-shirts with the mouse logo on. Will look absolutely awesome. The white ones are good, but they make me uh, very translucent on the screen. <laughs> so we will have to sort something out with you, Jay, about some uh, black ones. But guys, head over to Customize Inks. Give them. Give Jay the code mouse ten. And get 10% off your order. So guys, we as I said, we left it on a cliffhanger on Thursday. As you can see in the background, we have the race lined up, ready to go. This is the last race in this series. We are at the Mount Panorama Circuit. We are doing, what are we doing? We're doing two laps at 3.86 miles per lap. It's the Bathurst Circuit. So we're going to play straight into the action, guys, and get some racing, and hopefully get the podium for this series. I'm hoping so. And that car looking absolutely gorgeous as we left it. So the sun is out, and we are ready to rock and roll tonight. Well, it's evening for us, guys, wherever you are. We are ready to rock and roll as we start in, I think it was 11th we started, but we've already gone up a place. We're battling for 10th place. Everybody is out in force, the, even the fire brigade are there, which is uh, good, just in case anything goes wrong. This is not the easiest of circuits, as we already know. We've been here many times before in different cars, but we're going to power on. So guys, hope you are having a great day where you are. It is 8 p.m. GMT here in jolly old England. So what have you guys got planned for the Easter weekend? Have you got any plans? Are you having are you meeting family or having a traditional Easter dinner? As we plough through the field, we are in fourth place. This is lap one of two. This is where we need to pull out all the stops to get on that podium. We want that gold trophy, so we're gonna head there, we're gonna make it good.
Michael Davidson in the house. How are you doing, buddy? Hope you and the family are all great. This is the bending part of the circuit that throws a lot of people off a very narrow track. So let's uh, hope we don't mess up at any tyre walls because Jess is at, on hand to throw me the bill at the end of the uh, live stream. She always does. If I hit cones, I get billed. And depending on what kind of mood she is, some, well, depending on what type of mood she's in, she normally gives me a, a double bill. But as we fly down the circuit, we're not in too bad of a standing. We're in second place. There we go. Just making that famous saying, hug that line as we do. As we go around the very tight corner there, we are in second place. Very good for our first race off the line. Let's see if we can get into first. We're closing in on first. We're literally on his tail. He's on that line, so we can't hug that line just yet. But as we go across the start line, we are now in first place. It sounds crazy, but we have just hit first. Let's see if we can keep that now as we head up the long winding straight. And put some space between us and the rest of the pack. The sun is absolutely beaming down. Hope the weather is nice where you guys are. Today's been okay weather-wise. It's been uh, a mix of uh, weather for uh, us in the UK, where we are. We've had a bit of sunshine, and then it clouded over and got a little bit cold. But it's been dry, which is good. Don't mind the dry weather at all. As we go around that tight bend, Phil, that is absolutely great news. I know you've got to work most of the weekend, but if there are good things to come out of it, it's going to be worth it. So we are all nearly, nearly, nearly cost myself a, a few places there. We slip off the track. The second place is literally on our tail, but we're not going to let them get past us. Team Mouse are in the house as we fly around the bending section being careful not to scrape the walls this time Jess charges double for, for wall scrapes because we, it means we have to send our good old moderator Jeff out there with his paint and paintbrush and repaint those walls as we come around onto the long straight this is where we can make a, a, a few seconds gap shall we say and give us a bit of a, re a relaxing stroll across the finish line as we s sit firmly in first place we have everybody's waving their flags now Johnny Woods in the house how are you doing buddy Johnny our good friend from Average Wolf 69 if you haven't already please pop over and give him a like and a follow Sean Binks in the house, how you doing buddy? Hope you are having a great day where you are. Preston Brewster in the house, how you doing Preston? Hope you are having a great evening. As we go across that line and pick up the first gold trophy of the evening, absolutely awesome. So, just what we wanted to start off a Saturday evening stream. Preston, how are you doing buddy? Haven't caught up with you for a couple of days. Hope you're doing well. So let's go through our little graphics as we do. Johnny Woods, our good friend, the Average Wolf 69, head over to his page. Give him a like and a follow. Has the bot played up again? Hmm? I think it was me. Okay. Preston, what are you doing sitting in the hotel room? Yep, guys, Chrissy's working on the uh, link there. If it doesn't come up, then uh, we will keep that bot. There we go, Average Wolf 69. There is the link for the page. Head over there, give our good friend Johnny a like and a follow if you haven't already. And also, our good friend Preston Brewster from PB Streams. Please head over there, 
give his page a like and a follow and thank you for the share there Preston I saw that just pop up in my uh, mini feed there so head over to PB streams that is our good friend Preston's page take it you forgot the command for that one <laughs> I'm going to have to write all those down but there we go thank you for the like Johnny I just saw that pop up too I'm sure PB streams is on there. there it is it's capital PBS and then streams up there after that so but yeah guys head over there you start orientation on Monday that's that's cool Wow so Preston not having a break at all but guys please head over to the link which is just popped up there That would be cool, Johnny. That's absolutely cool. But guys, head over to Johnny Johnny at the Average Wolf 69 page and our good friend Preston at PB Streams. So we're going to go and pick up some credits for that absolutely awesome start to the stream. Don't think we could have asked for any better. So that is the last race. We finished first on the podium we had a guaranteed 1000 we were 100 series points ahead of the pack so that means we get the gold trophy for the series as we start the stream this evening what a way to start there we are we are first on the podium just what we wanted absolutely awesome okay Preston uh, we'll catch you shortly I hope you're gonna order something nice so we pick up 24,200 credits taken our total up to 954,212. So that is another series under the bag. That's our first series for the Domination Championships. We have a gold trophy for, which is absolutely awesome. This championship we are we're nearly back up to where we uh, left off when we had to reset but we are going to do it we're going to get right the way to the end up it, up here in the forza drivers cup i can't wait to get there nikki racky in the house how are you doing nikki nikki a good friend from nixil gaming and guys i've been catching up with nixil streams the last couple of days where she's playing Resident Evil and oh my god what memories it brings back guys if you it'll be is that the right one mm -hmm. <laughs> let me bring that back up there we go There we go, that's that one put in. Yep, guys, if you head over to Nixel Gaming, that is the logo you are looking for. Nikki is streaming Resident Evil, I believe. Um, I've caught it with a couple of streams, and I'll tell you what, those zombies really do creep me out. But Nikki makes it look so easy. And also playing that Phasmophobia as well, that Resident Evil guys you've got to go and tune in if, if, if you only go over once go and give Nikki a like and a follow she is absolutely awesome at Resident Evil made it look so easy and it creeped me out and she has jump scares too which is funny there we go so let's head let's have a look at let's have a look in the domination championships let's see what we Nikki, absolutely no problem at all. You always uh, give us a little shout out when we pop over and come and see you. So it's always uh, reciprocated. Let's have a look what we can do. Let's have a look at some of the... Oh, no, not hoonigans. Let's have a look and see if we there's some cars we can win. Ellis Ma in the house. How are you doing, Ellis? It's nice to see you. Hope you're doing okay. I want to have a look and see if there's uh, something we can win a car from. 
I'll tell you what, let's 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 do this. It's the Ford RS two hundred one on one against the almighty, the legendary Ken Block. If we win this, we win the RS two hundred Evolution car. That sounds awesome. Another car to our collection for absolutely zero. So I think he's gonna have a chat. So that was the the groupy era of rallying. And so that's when I really started watching and paying much more attention to rally, uh, was mid to late 80s, and that's when uh, Ford had the RS200, which was their foray into the Goopy era, and it uh, eventually got stopped because the cars became too fast to race, people were starting to die. So they moved on to a, a slower Eric, and the RS200 is my all-time favorite car of any car on the planet. So there you go guys, we are facing Ken Block in the RS200 on the Prague circuit, we're doing two laps of the full circuit, this is going to be a test, can we beat Ken Block? I'm sure we can, my dad in the house, how you doing dad? Just send something now and have a look at, wow sporting the top fan badge guys, if you haven't check to see if you've got your top fan badge there are top fans out there i didn't know we had those that is surprising so my dad is sporting a top fan badge that's uh, pretty cool my dad is supporting the cause how you doing how are you and malcolm doing dad we're gonna head down to trackside we have got ken block to beat and we're doing the track in prague two full laps let's see if we can obliterate this one and get a car to our collection and we're at a standing start Ken Block is in first as we pull off over the start line it's going to be neck and neck let's see if we can slide into first without him hitting us yes we managed to do that now that's the easy part done the, rest, the hard part is keeping that position and not making any mistakes as we come around the long right hand bend, everybody is out in force, they want to see the outcome of this, as do we. The only difference is we're controlling the car. Let's see if we can put a bit of space between us and Ken, shall we? As we go up hill, leave this, I'm not sure if this is the normal way around the track or if we're doing it in reverse, but it doesn't matter. Ken Block is hot on our tail. So it's just a one-on-one. -on -one. Oh, and we scrape, and we lose a wing mirror. Oops. Are there any mechanics in the house that can fix that for us? I believe Matt Bryce would be able to. We are going to get this one, and we're going to get this car. This is not going to be an easy challenge by any means necessary, as we are against one of the legendary rally drivers. Is he a rally driver? I don't know, but he's he's a he's an icon nonetheless. I've never noticed the scenery in this game around the longer tracks is absolutely amazing. Never noticed there was artwork on the walls. So everybody out in force, this they're out in support for. I'm not sure if they're out in support for us or the legend Ken Block, but by the way. We'll take it as support for us, shall we? As we head over the bridge, across the river, look at that river, look at that view, and the helicopters are having a hard time trying to keep up with us. There's about half a second between us and Ken Block, literally on our tails. As we drive through the street section of Prague, as we come up to that final bend, on the lap which will take us on to the home straight everybody is out in force there's the entrance to the pit lane this is the home straight over the line to start the final lap we are going back over the river again everybody's out in force so now we just have to keep that place we haven't done too bad so far but as you know anything can happen in a lap and first place is not always guaranteed. It takes one mistake to, to cost you a position. As we are increasing that gap between us and Ken Block, 
can we do it all the way around the circuit? That we shall see. We have our foot down as we head round the left bend on, it's quite a winding bend actually. And then we hit the downhill section where we can see that beautiful landscape. What an amazing sight that is. A little bit misty, would be nice on a, on a nice sunny day. You can see, I believe that's a church in the background. Look at the flowers as well, absolutely amazing scenery. Cameramen all over the, all over the track to get their views. Well, took that one a little bit wide, but we're still in first. The gap has closed up a little bit. Ken is not happy with us. Still in his thunder, shall we say. So, as we head to the archway, we're going to go over the river. I'm surprised there's no boats on there, but... It is what it is. We head into the street section of the race through the narrow winding streets. Everybody in support waving their flags. That was close. We nearly hit the barrier there. We don't want to be hitting barriers not this close to the end of the race. And I think it's safe to say, well it's not safe to say until we cross that line as I always say. The fireworks go off and we cross that line in first. So there we are. We have beat Ken Block, the legend himself. Only by a second, mind. Very, very close. So there we go, guys. I believe we get the car. That gets added to our collection. We pick up first place. As we pick up 12,000 credits, we take our total up to 966,972. And we go three quarters of the way around driver level 49. And we get that supercar, we get the 1985 Ford RS200 Evolution. It's a rare, and it adds 395 to our collector value. So, we have two ticks in the box. Let's add another one, shall we? Let's get this one out of the way. It's the Ford Fiesta Hoonigan Autocross. It's one race and if we win it, we win the, the Fiesta ST. Let's have a look. Let's see what we've got to do. Oh, we love a hot hatch. They're fun, they're affordable, they're accessible, they're attainable. They're not going beyond legal limits, but they're fun and they're practical. So you can drive one every day, you can have it as your only car and you can live the dream down your favorite B road every time you drive it. So I believe this is gonna be Cone's it's either cones or cone piles going around this track and we have to beat 2 minutes 30. Bear in mind if we hit a cone stack it adds 5 seconds to our total time. We did this before, we've done this before and it wasn't easy then. Let's see if we can do it today. Look at that car, absolutely awesome car. So, we're going to head down to trackside and get this one underway. Hopefully we can do it. If we can't, we will come back and do it at a later time. I think we will do it though. So, our target time is 2 minutes 30. Hopefully we can do it without any... I said any. We get our first penalty on the first gate. So that automatically adds 5 seconds to our total time. Now we just have to be extremely careful.
this is not one of the easiest tracks to do it on either. Um, very windy. Let's try and get through these gates without making too many errors. It's quite difficult when you've got to swing the car into position ready for the next set of gates. I thought I'd clip that one then. Obviously we didn't. That was lucky. With 1 minute 30 remaining on the target time. It's going to be a close one, but I think we may be able to do it if we are careful. Oh, this is going to be weaving and ducking. This is going to be fun. So we have just uh, just over a minute to get around the rest of this circuit. It's going to be tight. Hopefully we can do it. But if we don't, we will come back and do it at a later time. This is where they get difficult. Fancy putting them all on the vents there. So we have about 45 seconds to get around the rest of the circuit. This is where we go down onto the home straight. And that car nearly took off then. Can we do it? I'm hoping we can. nearly there we have about 20 seconds remaining oh come on we can do this did we do it I hope we did yes we did we pick up that gold trophy for that one that was close I didn't even know we'd won it until it just put the tick there so we obviously completed the challenge there is the tick to say that is complete, so I believe we get that car. So, let's go and collect our credits for that. A few little nudges there that we could have done with that, but we pick up 2,800 credits for that, taking the total up to 969,772. But what makes it even better is we pick up that car. And that gets added to our collection also. So there we go guys it's a common car it's the ford fiesta st it adds 55 to our collector value and that goes in the collection for absolutely zero so there we go we are going to have a look at some other another series now let's get the the worst ones out of the way first shall we Okay, we'll do another one where we'll get another car for free. These are this is a one one race series. And I believe we're going to get told about this one too. I mean, they do heroic things every day, racing drivers. You know, they drive and do things with cars that mere mortals can't. And what they do is heroic. So anybody who gets into a racing car and does what they do is a hero. So there you go, guys. We are in this awesome car i believe we got near this when we had to reset this car is not the easiest to control but we had fun last time we did this so we are revisiting where near enough where we left off last time this is eight laps of this circuit we're back at lime rock again we're doing eight laps of this circuit at 1.50 miles per lap Jessica Michael smacking me in the face there with 30 stars. Thank you, Jess. Jess, I really cannot wait until you get your wheel and I get to race against you in this game. It's going to be awesome. Then it'll be you, I can imagine you screaming, Rob, hug that line and I'll be screaming back, Jess, hug that line. And you, it'll be a backwards and forwards, hug that line fest. So we're going to head down to the circuit guys, the sun is still shining well away and we are going to do 8 laps of this circuit, hopefully picking up first place, what a car that is, look at the size of the steering wheel, as we start in 11th place, car in front decides to slam his brakes on as we try and go back and we lose a place, 
hopefully we can make a few places up on the bend. There goes a cone. There's my build started. Wow, he's locking. We get locked up tires with him. What a disaster on that first bend. But it's not going to hold us back. We've got eight laps to go, guys. As we lock tires with him. The only doubt, I think that's why they tried to cover up the tyres on cars, so cars can't lock wheels and cheat. But we're powering back up. This car is not slow by any means necessary. But it's also not the easiest to control. It will fly there if we're not careful. As he tried to lock tyres with us, we come over to the drivers club bridge and we go onto the downhill section we're in seventh so we haven't done too bad let's power our way through we've got another seven laps to go yet guys as we push forward towards the start line we've got over that start line in fourth so we're doing pretty good we're doing really good onto the first bend we caught it with the, fir the front three runners Around that first bend, taking it carefully because this car does not like being pushed too much. As you can see, it skids around that corner and you can hear the tyres screeching as we slide into third place around the uh, S bend there. I had a little dip of power there, but that's me. As we come up to yeah, mate, I can see where they changed the circuit there. We're going around the outside part. We slide into second place, and the car nearly losing control there. Third place, thinking he's going to take advantage, but we're, we're better than that. We're hot on the tail of first. We want to be in first place. We want to have a good series of gold trophies. So let's put our foot down. There's the entrance to the pit lane. He gets in the way, but that's not going to stop us. We power forward. We are now in first this is lap two into lap three now. We have a few laps to keep this car. Hopefully we can uh, put some space between us and the pack and blast our way forward. As the last car comes over the start line, we are on the s bend Everybody is at, out in force today. Hopefully there's a hot dog van or, and a burger van somewhere because I will need a hot dog and a, or a burger and a drink after this race. There it is, there's the van up there. I just saw it. So now I know where to head after the race. There goes another cone. Jess will be totaling the cones up for this race. I think this race is gonna cost me an absolute fortune. Everybody on the banks, out in the glorious sun. As we come into the driver's club bridge, down and round the bend onto the home straight. We are pushing forward. Look at the mist coming off those hills. As we go over the start line to start lap four, we're literally halfway through now, guys. And I think it's going to be safe to say that it's a comfortable position we're in at the moment. We can't say it's going to be a win because anything can happen and we don't finish the race until we cross the finish line. There's a nice gap between us and the pack now, which is absolutely awesome. So if anything does go wrong, we have a few seconds to adjust it and get back on track. As we fly up the little bank there, everybody waving. As we come around that bend, we know we're heading towards the driver's club bridge again. I'd love to drive on this track. It'd be absolutely awesome. As we come around the bend, we are now on the home straight, so we can put our foot down and try and get a bit more of a gap between us and the back. As we go across that start line to start lap five, there's a barbecue on that uh, bank to our left. I think I might go and pinch one of their uh, hot dogs from there. As we come around that first bend, the first car goes over the start line. Well, the, the first car behind us goes over the start line. We're first. As we hit that S bend, we are flying.
as we come to the little bit of an uphill section. I'm waiting for us to go flying over that little ridge at some point. Maybe. We'll see. Everybody's still out waving their flags, having a great time in the sunshine. Let's go around that bend, onto the home straight. We're near the end of the race now, guys. We've got a few more laps to go. I mean, this car is fast. It's hitting 130 miles an hour as we come to the first bend. We slow down a little bit, dodging that cone on the corner. Apparently, that's the double cost cone. And the pack have just started coming across that start line, so we have a absolute massive lead over them. But a massive lead is always better than a short one, as if anything goes wrong, we can correct it. Everybody out in force. There's the van up there. I can see the uh, little sign in the window saying hot dog sold out. So I'm going to have to get this race done so I can go and get a burger from there. Making me hungry. It's a good job they don't put uh, smells in these games so you can smell them, otherwise, I'd be smelling uh, burgers and onions for miles. So we head onto the home straight. This is lap six of eight. We are heading into lap seven of eight, over the line into lap seven, and into the first bend under the Sam Posey straight bridge go around that first bend how far are they behind us I've been gauging this they're not even over the start line yet they're coming down the home straight though there we go the first car in the pack behind us has gone over the start line so we have an absolutely awesome lead the Sun is still beating down on us we head up the little bit of an uphill section everybody out in force still they're enjoying their day as we come to the tight bend down towards the drivers club bridge down the little bank there screeching around that bend onto the home straight we come up to the start line and we start the final lap of the race that barbecue is a bit smoky on the left somebody better go and check on them make sure they're not uh, burning the grass as we fly around that first bend into the S bend we are doing okay everybody waving and clapping there we are literally in the lead with a good uh, good well, fair few seconds behind us at least as long as we don't make any silly mistakes we should be fine we are on our way to another gold trophy as we head around that last bend down into the drivers club bridge which means one thing we are near the home straight where we can put our foot down and go across that finish line so there we are we are on the home straight we are powering through see the start line there as we go over we pick up that gold medal so I don't even know how long or how far behind us they actually are they're still racing wait for the next one to pop up that's how long and how far behind us they were. They're still racing. Our total was nine minutes. And that was for eight laps. Let's see how long they take. The first cut, there we go. 32 seconds. That's how long and how far they were behind us. 32 seconds. Absolutely awesome. So we pick up the gold medal in there, we get the tick in the box to say that that's complete. That will be the blue tick in the box on the series. We pick up 22,000 credits, 
taken out her total up to 991,772. And we also get that car added to our collection. As we smash driver level 49, we pick up an extra 20,000 credits. Now that gives us a choice. We can either pick the 50,000 credits, the number one Ferrari 641 car discounted from 470,000 credits right the way down to 70,000 credits or we can have the vintage racing light blue driver suit I'm going to leave it to you guys so please pop in the comments credits car or driver suit and we will go with the one that has the most votes while you guys get your votes in I am going to have a little vape and I'm going to have a swig of my water Have we have any votes yet? None yet. I do know we have a Formula One race at some point, either in this ser in this championship or the next. Christina says car. Any more for any more? Jessica says car. I think it's going to be a landslide victory again with the cars. The more cars we get, Chrissy says credits. Okay, that's an odd one. But I think it's a, a landslide so far on the car. Give it, give it another 15 seconds, guys. If you get your vote in for credits, car or driver suit, we will pick one of those. There we go. We're going to go with the car, guys. It was a landslide victory. Two votes to one. So we pick up the car. It's the Super Rare 1990 Ferrari number one Scuderia Ferrari 641. Adding 845 to the collector's score. And we start our journey on driver level 50. And we are over quarter of the way around the collection tier 11 so that car we get that car we also get the other car so that's two cars in our collection there we go we pick up the 1934 Alfa Romeo P3 it's a super rare adding 400 to the collectors score so where shall we go? We'll start a, another series off. Let's see if there's any more. That's six races. We've done that. We've done that. That's six races. Are there any more less than six? No. They're all six races. Let's get this one out of the way. It's the Modern Off-Roaders series. More for racing than hauling dirt. These are basic working trucks tuned up to be wider, bigger, and more powerful. And when you need to leave the pavement behind, these trucks will get you back to nature in a hurry. So we have a couple of cars in our collection already. Let's have a look at the recommended, just in case they recommend. Ooh, if this is the one I think it is, is my car, favorite car in this series. No, my favorite car is not in that series. But these are recommended. That looks awesome. Jessica smacking me in the face with 800 stars. Jessica, you know what that means. And I can't say it enough. Jess, this is going to say everything for you. Thank you, Jess. I think we're going to go with this car. It's got the height. Where's it? No, got back up. I've lost it there. <laughs> Typical. 
There it is. So, we're going to pick this car up. Let's see if there's a design. I think I think this car could do with a nice design on it. Not many designs there. Oh, I'm not not extremely happy with the designs they put down. I didn't want a Jurassic Park one. Not many designs there at all. Let's. I don't like. I don't like any of the. Oh, we'll, we'll go with that one. Normally we could go with the uh, standard paint paint designs, but we'll go with that one instead. So, we pick up the Ram Runner, adding 85 to our collector score, and it's going to cost us 47,500 credits. Not a massive expect a uh, lot of uh, credits wasted. Well, it's not even wasted. We add another car to our collection, so it's going to come in handy at some point. But we add that car to our collection, and we this is the car we'll be racing in. And it's one of the recommended, so that's even better, because it's going to be tuned for the series it's that we're in. Race, so prepare for limited visibility. And as you just heard, it's going to be a night race. So, where are we? We're doing the Circuit of the Americas, the East Route. Move my head out of the way so you can see that there. Move the chair out of the way so you can see it even better. How many laps are we doing? We're doing four. Fairly easy circuit, but it's going to be at night. So there's going to be a lot to look out for. As we head down to Trackside, we're at a standing start on this one. So it should be... Uh, Fairly even all across the board. Wow, that car nearly did a wheelie off the off the get go. Who's got the green lights, or is that us? No, it's not us. One of the cars behind us got green lights. A couple of them have green lights. As they all pile into that first bend. Typical, we get knocked about and we're, they, he clicked onto us and pulled us back. That's not going to stop us. Do they know that we are it's Team Mouse? And we'll try and get on that line. Definitely not an easy track at night. Oh, we go two wheels. Never seen that before until now. If we go around the hairpin bend, let's see if we can sneak up a position or two on the straight. Fifth place. Get out of the way. He, he missed it. Whoa. As we put our foot down. John Ramsey in the house. How are you doing, buddy? I've got to pause this a second. Michael Ramsey has just... Uh, Michael Davidson, rather, has just smacked me in the face with 1,000 stars. Mike, thank you so much. This is for you. You are awesome. Thank you so much, Mike. John, thank you for the like and thank you for the share, buddy. That looks like my my. I'm not. I'm not going to go there. As we come to the end of the home straight, Mike, thank you so much. We are going to power through this. We have gone up to fifth place. Guys, please get some hashtag Jess, hashtag Mikes in the comments and smash that heart button for, for Jessica Michaels and Michael Davidson. Please, guys, get some hashtag Jess and hashtag Mikes in those comments. You guys are absolutely awesome.
as we go around that hairpin bend that we are on lap two of four we are in fifth place we are now in fourth as we go over the line to start lap three we are chasing a hummer hope he's gonna have enough fuel left to complete the race as we use him as a buffer to get around that bend we slide into third Slow him right the way down to get round that bend there. Oh, watch out for that walk. Narrowly missed that one. Jess charges me a fortune if I hit those walls. As we power down, we are in third place. We have another lap to go. Hopefully we can catch up with first and second as we come around that hairpin bend, hugging that line. We've got our foot down. Let's see if we can catch them up before the bend at the end. Hopefully we can or we can sneak up a little place or two. As you can see, we are gathering speed and we're gathering literally on the tail of second come on push forward that little bit more as we slide next to second place we show who him who's boss and we slide into second place now we just need to do the same with first place as we hook that line and keep the optimal position on the track come on we can do this Ooh. I don't know what that was but it didn't sound very good we are gaining on first place can we slide past him to get our first oh come on we have a little bit to go but are we we are in first place that was close can we go over that line and get that first place we do we get the first place right at the end that was close very very close close but we did it so that is a gold trophy that's just what we wanted so we secure 400 series points putting us at the top of the table for that race we have another five races to go we've seen seen how close these races are going to be now so hopefully we can keep up in first place so let's go and collect our credits for that race we pick up an absolute stung of 14,740 credits taking our total back up to 909,000 and the odd 12 not going to complain it's an extra 12 credits so if we add that to the total and we fly a little bit around more of driver level 50 so the next circuit we are at the Hockenheim ring we're doing the short circuit so it's not the full circuit look at that bottle of uh, engine oil there we're doing three laps at 1.64 miles per lap. That's not a bad race actually. It's sunny, the sun is shining. And we're going to head down to trackside. And we're at a standing start again. Look at the colour of that truck. It looks a lot better in the daylight than it does at night. As we power forward, let's see if we can get through the right to the front if we can won't be right out the front as everybody slows down on that bend he goes flying we end up in fourth there's a hummer in third which we slide past oh we slide into second that's a wall we're gonna have to be careful with i just caught that at the corner of my eye that little green wall because these trucks are so big it'll probably plow through it but we don't want to chance it it'll slow us down so we are hot on the tail of first place. I'm going to try everything to get past him, which I believe is right about now. 
he uses us as a buffer but now it's all a case of keeping that first place going So let's see, the helicopters are out in force taking video footage for the super reel at the end of the race. There's the entrance to the pit lane. Everybody is out in force today. This car, I say car, it's a truck. Took that turn very wide, so it's very heavy on the controls. As we go over the start line to start lap two of three. We fly around that first bend. Let's see if we can put a bit of space between us and the pack. The more space between us and the pack, the better. There's that little green wall. As we slow down a little bit to gain control of the truck, we are flying. And we're 1.9 seconds faster than we were at the last lap. Obviously, we were at a standing start last time. So almost two seconds from standing with that little collision on the first corner as we seem to find that more often everybody powers towards that first bend and then gains positions but we did pretty good so everybody in the stands having a great time today we are literally three turns away from the end of the lap as you can see them coming down the back end of that circuit there. We go around that bend, there's the entrance to the pit lane as we see it again. We'll see that one more time, but that time will be the last. As we come down the home straight, everybody's having a great day. We start lap three of three. Powering around that first bend now, we've got about a second to a second and a half behind us. Nice little gap there. As long as we take it steady and don't hit any tyre walls, we should be fine. We haven't hit any yet, so it's looking good. I've noticed there's no hot dog van here though. I'm not happy with that. A lot more hot dog vans. As we power through, there's some cones there. Stay away from the cones. Thank you for the share, Christina. As we power around that corner, we come up to the little bit of a hairpin bend. Crowds are waving. As we come around that bend, oh, when you come off the trap there, that was a little bit too close for comfort. You can see the cars all piling around that bend on the opposite side of the track there as we come down this is the last time we'll see that pit lane but we're not going to go down it we never go down the pit lanes onto the home straight as we play towards that finish line we go over in first so that is another gold trophy to add to uh, tally of gold trophies and that one was according to that I don't know how far they were behind doesn't matter we picked up the gold so we are two races in we will get this Danny right in the house how are you doing buddy hope you are having a great day where you are guys our good friend Danny from bus trucker head over to the bus trucker page give him a like give him a share share the love as we always do there we go guys Chrissy has brought up the link the bush trucker bushy head over to his link on that post that little comment there guys give Danny a like give Danny a follow share the love as we always do Chrissy is going to take over my seat I'm going to have a quick toilet break and I will be back 
but Chrissy is going to uh, let you know how tomorrow will run. So I'll be back in a second. moving as fast as I normally do. So who's looking forward to seeing me crash tomorrow? Hi Danny. What game are you playing tonight, Danny? <laughs> yeah, but Danny, mine's because my hips have been playing up for the past couple of days, so it's like, mm, move slow and you can be able to move. Move too fast and you're going to get stuck. <laughs> oh, no, you're wait. You can't wait. I oh, know, Jess is looking forward to seeing me race again. But yeah, trying to keep an eye out on comments that Rob says about the different corners and tracks and like, by the time he said free, it's gone straight out of my head about the first one. So like, I don't think I'm going to be very well at commentary or anything like that. But I'm going to try and keep up with your comments and try not to crash when I look over at the comments. So. Oh, I've had problems with my hips, Danny, for years. They just don't know what it is. The same as they don't know what's going on my back. So it's like the weather changes, they play up sometimes, or sometimes I'll overdo it. You know, when you have the good days and you think, oh, you're Superman and you do everything and then the next day you wake up and you think, oh, God, I wish I never did it all now. I'm having one of them days. <laughs> but I can't help it when I have a good day. I like to get through as much stuff as I can, so. I technically bought it on myself. This time. But, yeah, I know what you mean with the weather changes. It it can suck somewhat chronic. That's why I don't like cold weather and don't like it too hot either. So how many crashes do you think I'm going to get on Sunday? When I tried going to the gym to do like the back stretches and stuff to help try and strengthen the lower part of my back, but um, he actually made it worse. Um, I ended up with a leg brace at one time because I was. They said I was doing too much, and I was like, "Well, there's only one weight bar on there, and it's less than a two kilo bag of sugar, so." sounds very painful Danny so far I haven't had anything like fused in position I mean I broke a few bones Mo more unusual ones not like your arm and stuff but that was when I was growing up and uh, a few dislocations but never anything too reckless Mm. It did look like you was in. I seen a few of your photos the other day, but like, I was half asleep, so 
I'll have another look, Wayne. <laughs> It's 220 kilogram kg with my little legs. How? I don't think I'll be able to push that much away. What's 220 kg, yes? Kilograms. Yeah. What's that equal object wise? Huh? What would that equal object wise? When so they push that? 220 bags of sugar with the small ones. Mm. That's a lot. That's quite a lot. Oh, I struggle with the six pointer of milk. Hey, Kenny! From Kenny's Mind is in the house. Yeah, okay, that makes more of a sense. Quarter of a ton. <laughs> uh, if you haven't noticed, maths is not my strong point. I know to add and take away and that's my bills sorted so that's me. How are you Kenny? I'm Rob's just uh, tapping away on my tablet on my desk at the minute. Yeah, okay Wayne. Probably some interesting to watch. Hi Daniel. Right, I'm going to go jump in my seat. So I will give you back to Rob. And we are back. As Kenny said, Kenny G in the house. How are you doing Kenny? Guys, if you haven't already, please head over to Kenny's Mind. That is Kenny G's page. Give him a like, give him a follow. He's doing a lot of streaming lately, uh, doing Dead by Daylight. And I think I don't know, I think the main one I've seen Kenny do is Dead by Daylight. And what is the other one, Kenny? Please remind me. I think it's, I think it's Phasmophobia he does as well. Absolutely awesome. Uh oh. Kenny, if you need to chat, you know. League of Legends 2, that's the, that's the other one. And Phasmophobia, yes. Guys, if you haven't seen Kenny play Dead by Daylight, he plays that as uh, as does Nixo, our good friend Rad, Nicky Radke. Guys, you've got to check them both out. They are absolutely awesome at that game, and they make it look so easy as the killer. I love it when Kenny plays the killer in there. Also, our good friend Daniel from where's my where's my buttons going? My buttons are going all over the place on my phone. Daniel from Small Town Vapes. Yes, I know you're ruthless, Kenny. Small Town Vapes on Facebook. If you like fun, laughter, and other things vape related, head over to Small Town Vapes on Facebook. Request to join the group and Daniel will let you in and I believe it's Thursday at 8.30 p.m. GMT you will find Daniel going live where anything can happen the last couple of weeks Daniel has done Guess the Lyrics and the Guess the Lyrics 80s edition was the latest one so head over there guys and uh, request to join Daniel's group if you are interested in all things vape related so let's head on guys we picked up another first place win we want more we want more and we will give you more you're back to interviews on Thursday can you reveal who you are interviewing on Thursday or is that top secret until the night As we pick up our credits, 14,300 credits, taking our total to 923,312. Rage Czar in the house, how are you doing? Oh, Andrew Tate, name rings a bell. 
guys if you haven't please head over to Rezar's page better known as Mike there you go guys there is the page the top link is the page the bottom link is the rage squad group please head over there give our good friend Mike a like and a follow if you like his comments also you can also become a supporter Mike now has supporters and I, I'm glad to say I am one of them but if you head over there guys watch Mike stream amongst other things American Truck Simulator I don't I haven't seen Mike stream Euro Truck Simulator 2 for a while there's been some Flight Simulator uh, yeah, Microsoft Flight Simulator he also streams Phasmophobia and I believe tonight uh, on Thursdays he does the Call of Duty Cold War I believe tonight he will be streaming Mario Kart and that's on the Nintendo Switch so I cannot wait to see that I've got my Nintendo Switch charged up ready to take part in that Whitney Davidson in the house how are you doing my little bodyguard hope you're okay hope your tattoo is healing very well little be that yes my shots I can't do it as good as you but I did give it a try so you've got to give me credit there so we are gonna head on to the next race in the series we're doing the mountain Rio de Janeiro circuit track we are doing the mountain circuit reverse and it's an early evening track so this should be fun especially in these cars these cars are pretty big that's good that's good so we are doing this circuit we are doing five laps at 1.01 miles so that's a fairly short circuit but we shall see let's see if we can get another gold trophy to that table as we start on the downhill section of the hill that's, that's an unusual place to start normally we start down at the bottom of the circuit but we've got five laps of this using them as buffers to get around the wow this is going to be a tough race I'm surprised the uh, one of my favorite cars wasn't in the running for this one but as we power through we are in seventh place but we don't want to finish we don't want to sit in seventh we can't sit in seventh so oh we get spun out by mr bump of all people why does he have on a mr man on the side of your car how cool is that some of you guys may be young may be old enough to remember the mr man i am I wonder if you guys do too. If you do, let us know in the comments. Who is your favourite Mr. Men? As we go over that start line, we start that too, so it's a very short circuit. And we are in sixth place. He's not letting us pass with that Hummer. Get out of the way. We've got a race to win here. Not Dolly Doodle. So we come around that bend, we are in fifth place. This is lap two of five. We don't want to sit there though. Lap two of five, really? As we head up the uphill section, we are going, we can see the four cars in front. So we slide into fourth. Can we get the other three places on the last couple of laps? That cone nearly flipped us out of there. We head around that bend. We are now back at the start line over into lap three of five. There are three cars in front of us, and we need to get in front of all three. And they are putting the hammer down to the floor. Everybody is out in celebration tonight. As that car screeched around that bend, I heard the tyres screech. 
we need to get past these three cars here and get into first that's where the trophies are so we're on the uphill section oh, we are coming up on third we hit his slipstream but we can't get out of it get out of the way fly around that bend can we get past him we were stuck in his slipstream Mike we're doing absolutely great how are you doing buddy are you looking forward to Mario Kart later I hope you are as we slide into third place we come around the section down the bank can we hit that bend yes we do Trista Ramsey in the house how are you doing Trista thank you for the like and thank you for the share as we slide around that corner we are in second place on the uphill section we are hot in pursuit of first place hopefully we get stuck in his slipstream again there we go we are flying around we slide into first place as we come up to the home straight let's see if we can keep that first place now trying to keep control of the truck I don't know whether to call it a car or a truck I say truck but we're not doing too bad as we fly around that bend there we're on the uphill section Guys, if you don't know, Mike is doing, I can't remember what it is, it's push-ups for, is it the, Mike, ex explain in the comments what, why you're doing the press-ups. I know it's something to do with the veterans. I think it's the... Yeah, but Mike, if you pop down in the comments what you're doing, and hopefully some some of the viewers here can pop over and catch up on your progress, and also pop over to your page and your streams where you go into depth. It's to do with, I think it's the um, yeah, I can't think. My mind's gone blank. It's to do with the veterans. Mike may have gone but he's doing push-ups for the veterans I believe it's 22 is it 22,000 push-ups in a month and it's all about awareness for so I think it's suicide awareness for the veterans Mike if you're still in the comments if you can pop down in there and let us know but we pick up first place on that race. We are doing absolutely awesome. We're three races down with three remaining. We pick up that first place trophy there. As we head to the ticket office to pick up our tokens for that race. I didn't even see how many we picked up. It's about 15,000. 640 2200 push-ups in April 2200 push-ups in April this is as it said why um, hang on. I've got a message incoming. I started my setups again but I ain't knowing near the 2k mark though Remember, it took me the entire hour of gym sessions to complete them all. Yep. I certainly do, Wayne. But you're getting there. You'll be back on track as you were before. 
you are a star you I've, I've, I remember watching your gym workouts before and you did really well buddy so well we'll Chrissy get better just racing weaker opponents and how about challenge so we're heading to Brands Hatch. We're on the Indy circuit. We're doing five laps at 1.21 miles per lap. It's a wet race. So this is going to be fun. Hopefully we can pull off another win. Let's see. As we head down to... Oh, we're on a standing start as well. This is going to be fun. Wayne, I, I used to watch your your gym workouts and the footage that you used to put up from the gym. And you're a great guy, Wayne. That's all I'm going to say. You are a great guy. As we start off in 10th, we power through. Look at the mist kicking up off the backs of these trucks. Somebody nearly slid out in the Jurassic Park truck. We are in second place. Tie neck and neck with first. Who is going to come out on top? We are, of course. It isn't raining yet, but the rain may come back. We still have another five laps to go yet. Thank you for the light there, Wayne. Really appreciate that, buddy. Guys, if you haven't already, please hit that like button. It helps us and it helps the stream. If you like what you're seeing, please type exclamation mark notify so you never miss another stream. We also have the YouTube channel, which if Chrissy could type up the exclamation mark YouTube, it will give you the link so all the streams get uploaded onto the YouTube straight after they finish so you will never miss a mass gaming stream again as we go into lap 2 we are still in first place there we go guys Chrissy has popped that link there for the YouTube channel we come around that hairpin bend and we are on the downhill section You've got to be careful down here because all the water collects in puddles on the track. Trista flexing that 38 days foliage. Thank you for your 38 days. As we head up onto the home straight there to end that lap two and go into lap three, we are flying. As we go over the start line, we are creating a gap between us and the rest of the pack now. And the car did not want to grip the track. Let's get back on track. Luckily, we had that little bit of playtime behind us. So we now have to re-grow that gap between us and the pack. The rain still hasn't come back, so hopefully it keeps going the way it's going. And it's going to be a dry race for us. Talk of the devil and it shall appear. The rain has come as of nowhere. I knew it was going to come. I could just sense it. That's why I was talking about it. As we come around that open bend down past the pit lane entrance we don't go in the pit lanes we fly on the home straight over the start line there to start lap four of five so we need to grow that gap again so we're going to power on as best we can as we come up to the hairpin bend
as you can see the last of the pack coming down that bend that we were on tony how are you doing buddy hope you're okay hope you're having a great day where you are thank you for the like we are plowing through this championship like night nice tomorrow we've got some new cars in the collection we have ticks and mm, trophies everywhere today as we come up to the last part of the track and we come off the track there but we still have enough play time behind us there we are well I hope you've had a, a great day Tony today has been chaos at work can't believe how packed the store was because it's closed tomorrow the shop closes for one day and everybody's out and forced to go and get everything as we head into lap 5 of 5 the final lap we have a little bit of a gap between us but we've come off the track a few times with it being so wet and slippy but we're showing them who's boss that rain not too heavy but still consistent as we come round that last bend to our right yes it certainly is and if we're not careful we're going to come off again there's the entrance to the pit lane <laughs> As we head on the home straight, look how close he is. But we go across that line in first place. We pick up the gold trophy for that race. And the, the car behind us was literally on our tail for that one. So that is four ticks in the series. We are sat comfortably at the top. In first place let's see if we can get another win we want this gold trophy for this series we want another podium finish that's exactly my thoughts there Wayne the shop is closed for one day and on a Sunday of all days anyway the shop isn't open that long on us on a Sunday It doesn't make sense. But the shop's closed tomorrow, but it's only closed for one day and it's on a Sunday. I don't understand some people's logic sometimes, but we pick up 18,960 credits, taking our total up to 958,112. <laughs> Thanks, Wayne. And we nearly complete driver level 50. We were 200 XP short. Nigel Armitage in the house. How are you doing, buddy? Hope you are having a great day. We nearly finished that driver level. I was so excited. And then we found out we're 200 XP short, which is literally a race. It's not even a race. It's about a lap. So... The Suzuka circuit, we're doing the East circuit. This is going to be fun. At least the weather's nice. Not as bad as the weather that we just had on that circuit. We're doing four laps at 1.40 miles per lap. Great to hear that, Nigel. Hope. Let's get this done. It's going to be a nice dry circuit. There's going to be a challenge. Let's get it started. And we are off. We start in 12th place, but we're not going to be sat there for long. We never are. As we muscle our way through, we slowly go up the pack. And as we hit that bend, we get side smashed. Going carefully around there. Otherwise, this is a very narrow track. And we're going to have to use 
Casco and somebody spins out. What was he doing? That is one way to lose a race. That was crazy. So we are in eighth place, but we don't want to sit there. We never sit this high up this long. But it's a very, a very short circuit. So we're going to have to make our best moves can as we come down onto the home straight. We're going to have to put our foot down and get some positions. We can't sit this long. Let's sit this low for too long. So, as we head down the straight, we slide into seventh. We're going to come up to that first bend. It's the bends on this circuit that make this one a little bit more difficult than normal. We're literally on the back end of the pack, so we're not going to be doing too... Why brake check me on a bend? I am not using the steering wheel yet, Nigel, but I will be very, very soon. I'm getting used to the feel of the G29 wheel. The Logitech G29. And I'm getting used to it, but I want it to be perfect when... Uh, I bring it onto the live. As we slide into sixth place, this track not very wide at all. I was just thinking that way. Johnny Five short circuit, absolutely awesome film. So, this is looking like our first race where we're not going to be in the top. But that can all change in the blink of an eye. As we hug that line around the circuit. Come on. Pick it up. Number five is alive. No disassembled. No disassembled. Yes, I've watched that film many and many a time. Believe me. One of my favourite films as a kid. As we slide into fifth, as we start lap four of four, now we've got to make a move. We hit fourth position, but he pulls four. Why do we slow down so fast? We're going to use him as a cushion as we go around this bend. Get out of the way. You're not pushing us around the circuit. We go into fourth. So we're not doing too bad, we need to be in third at least, so we need to get in front of this car. We've had firsts all the way up till now, this track, with it being so short and the cars being so big, makes it very difficult to control the cars. Is this the first race that we're going to have a non-top three position? I don't think we are, but I think we're going to pick third upon this one. There we go, we slide past fourth, into third, and we pick up third. It's not brilliant, but third is still good. <laughs> well, I hope you enjoy it, Wayne. It's one of the one of my uh, all-time all-time favourite films alongside, if you guys remember, David Bowie's Labyrinth. So, we pick up third. We sit in first place on that table with one race remaining. Hopefully, 
we can pick up that gold trophy and the first place podium so let's get this one done guys I don't even know what we picked up the credits counted too fast we smashed driver level 50 giving us the choice of the credits the car or the driver suit I think we'll go with the car just to be on the safe side we pick up the 1998 Aston Martin V8 Vantage V600 adding a total of 415 to the collector's value and it is a rare Scott McAlinden in the house. How are you doing, buddy? We are both well. Hope you and the family are all well. Hope you're all having a great Easter weekend. Guys, if you don't know, Scott is our brother from another mother. He is the bearded Geordie butter. Good so Scott I hope you and the family are all having a great Easter weekend don't eat too much chocolate if you're gonna eat some send me some I don't eat a lot of chocolate myself I'm trying to keep fit and keep toned up what was that And we go halfway around driver level 11. As we head to the Dubai City Circuit Alternate. This is the last race in Wayne. If you watch the film, you'll actually find he says your mama was a snowblower. I know I've watched the film that many times. But we are doing the Dubai City Circuit Alternate. We are doing three laps at 2.38 miles per lap. The sun is out. Everybody is out in force. I certainly do, Scott. I certainly do. So let's get this last race in the pocket. We start in 11th place. We're not gonna sit there for long, guys. This is, we've been to this track many, many a time. So we know the layout of the track. We know where we are gonna be heading. So we power all the way up into fifth place. We know we can do better than that. We are gonna go, we go up another place. <laughs> we grazed the fence there, but we're in third place. This desert is, whoa, we nearly flipped the car there. Did you guys see that? We did two wheel, we went two wheeled on the car, that nearly flipped us out, that would have been, whoa. Scott, if I hit the NOS button, I think the car's gonna do barrel rolls. I would have hated to have been sat inside the car for that. So. With that nearly giving me a heart attack and the car not being way down, that was a, a, a bit scary. As we head about as, out of the tunnel onto the home straight, we are in fifth place. Hopefully we don't do another two wheel stint like that again. That was a little bit scary for my liking. There are the cones that we shall not hit. Otherwise Jessica Michael sends us the bill after the live and gives me an earache on Discord. If I hit the cones, I get told off. So 
So we power through. We're on lap two of three. There's that part on the circuit where we did the two wheels and I don't want to be there again. So we hug that line for optimal position in the track. Second and third are having a whale of a ball up in front. What they're doing now, I don't know. But they head down into the tunnel, as do we. Hopefully we can put some um, catch up on those two. We're not doing too. We're not too far behind, but that's where we need to be. As we come out of the tunnel onto the home straight, hopefully we can make up a few seconds and catch up with them. The gap isn't that big. As they go around that first bend, we will make up a few milliseconds. Hopefully catch up with them. This is lap three of three. This is the final lap. Let's see if we can catch them up. We are definitely gaining. As we put our foot down on this straight, we should come pretty much on the tail of them, if not level. As we hug that line, we know we're in the optimal position for the track. We get perfect turn from the race officials. We're hot on the tail of second. He tries to move in the way and block us. We manage to slip around him into second. Now we can hope to do the same for first place. We know we're near the end of the circuit now. As there is the entrance to the tunnel. Can we take him in the tunnel? I don't think we're going to be able to. But if we don't manage to, we pick up second place, which hopefully will still give us the first place on the podium. As we come to the end of the tunnel, we have a little bit of a strike. Can we get first position? We are gaining on first place. It's going to be close. It's going to be neck and neck. As we power pass first, we pick up that gold trophy. That was so close. Wow. On the last straight, we pick up first. Nigel, thank you for the notify, buddy. That means you are now following Mouse Gaming. Thank you for following. So, we pick up first place on that last straight. How close was that, guys? Especially after making that mistake of doing two wheels around the circuit. Around a little bit of the circuit, I should say. I was sat in that car and I was holding on to that steering wheel. Oh, yeah. And I went like that. So, hopefully that will secure us top place. It does. We pick up the gold trophy and the first place on the podium for the modern off-roaders championship well serious so we go up to the podium we Jess has got a control awesome I can see Jess joining me at some point on a live not actually sat on the live but she will be in game on a live at some point hopefully we can get Chrissy too that will be even better and then hopefully we can get Jess and then maybe Tyler and have the full mass gaming team racing on Forza. We shall see. So as we pick up our first place podium, we are gonna head and collect our credits. We pick up a whopping 16,800 taken our total just over that million mark at 1,010,512. Hopefully we get something for completing that series, maybe? No, not quite. But I like the look of that car. It's the Ford GT05 plate discounted down. It's supposed to be 600,000 credits in game. They've reduced it down by 400,000 down to 200,000 credits. But we can't get that till we get to the end of driver level 51. And we are well on our way to doing that. So, that is another series complete.
we are absolutely racking up the wins in the domination championship so for now that is where we stand we have eight series left to complete in this championship and then we will move on to the masters championship but for now we are going to leave that there tomorrow please join us from 7 p.m gmt where chrissy will be hosting the whole of a live stream from 7 p.m gmt i will be here i will introduce the series and chrissy will take the controls she will sit behind the wheels and she uh, she reckons she won't get medals and trophies. I believe she will. I have faith. But it's going to be a fun night tomorrow night. 7pm GMT. Please tune in as Chrissy will be going live and hosting a whole live stream from Mouse, Mouse Gaming HQ. It should be a fun night. So come and show Chrissy your support. Support her as she does uh, her first live stream. With that, guys, we are going to leave it there. We're going to have a look for somebody to raid. Hopefully we can find somebody that we support and they support us and we get on with them and they like us. Nigel, you take it easy, buddy. Thank you for popping in. And we will see you tomorrow. Let's have a look at who we can raid. There we go. Let's go over to our good friend Smoggy88 who is streaming Euro Truck Simulator 2 and he's on a Saturday convoy night. So go over there with the hashtag mouse raid. I will join you over there. Thank you for joining in tonight. Sorry it was a, a little bit later than normal. But we will be back at the normal time tomorrow at 7pm GMT. So we're going to head over to Smoggy. I will see you over there. Please go over with the hashtag mass raid. But for now guys, take care. And we will see you tomorrow. <laughs>